You're going to take a split stance position, making sure that you are not too wide apart. So you see that my feet are in line with each knee and each hip socket. If you're too wide apart, you're not going to be able to plant your feet as well and your knees are going to be either inside or outside. So just make sure you have that stance. And then from the side, I'm looking for my torso to be vertically upright, nose, um, sorry, head over rib cage, over hips. And then I have my weight slightly behind that front foot. So I'm not completely forward in it just yet. Knee is right behind the heel. Back foot is propped up on the big toe, knee is bent. It's gonna stay like that the whole way through. At no point should that foot come down or that back knee straighten, otherwise you're gonna work the back leg way too much. Once you're here, you can have left hand on the left hip if that is your front foot. Other hand, you're gonna reach as a way to turn your body. So without the reach, I'm still kind of square. If I reach this right shoulder blade forward, down to the floor in front of me. You'll see that I'm further turned, not just the rib cage, but my hips also turn to the left side. That's gonna help your butt on the right kick on to help turn that hip even more. You're gonna slowly go down, keeping this knee going just a little bit forward over the foot. And then you're gonna push up where you come right back to the same start position. So this foot, you're starting behind the heel the shin is vertical, if not slightly behind the foot. As I go down, I'm gonna let that knee go just a little bit forward. It's gonna help the arch relax into the floor. This back knee is gonna stay vertical, so right beneath the rest of my torso, and then I'm gonna push back up. From the front, same thing. So when I reach this opposite hand, it's going to further turn me. My reach is going to be roughly in line with this big toe in the front. Slowly coming down. Knees are still in line with the hips, so they're not going in or out. And then I'm going to slowly push back up. If this is feeling easy, you can hold a weight. Instead of reaching in the opposite hand, and it'll do the same thing. So pretend that you're going to reach and turn. Slowly come down, let that knee go forward. When you come up, you're pushing yourself backward up behind that front heel. 